So there are a few things that are difficult for developers. Giving estimations, naming things, and choosing tools and frameworks. And today I want to set light on the third point, because this is something I get asked a lot. And the question is, what framework should I use for a new project? And how do I know I made the right decision? As web developers, the first decision we usually need to make when starting a project is what framework are we going to use? And this is a decision that determines the next steps we take. And choosing poorly can lead to headaches pretty quickly. So how do you know what framework to choose and that you are making the correct decision? I usually tackle this problem with two-step approach. So the first step is determining if we even need a framework. The first instinct is to use a framework like Next.js or Remix for your new web dev project. But that is not always necessary nor wise. I like to go through this set checklist first to determine if I should even use a framework. So first I ask, is there multiple features or functionalities that are needed? Then do I need to save or read data from a database? And third, is the project likely to require multiple files of code? If your answer to all of these is no, then it's worth thinking if you need a framework at all. Going through this checklist will give you a good feel of the size, needs and complexity of your project. As an example, let's say we need to convert a JSON file to CSV format. So here's what our answers would look like. So the first question, is there multiple features or functionalities that are needed? Well, no, we just need to convert the file from one format to the other. Uh, then do I need to save or read data from a database? Well, no. And third, is the project likely to require multiple files of code? Well, I would assume that no. So all the answers are no. So we probably shouldn't create for example, a Next.js application to accomplish this task, but rather create a single JavaScript file that handles the job. So that's the first step. Uh, the second step is uh, choosing the framework. If any answer for the checklist questions was yes, then it is likely that we will benefit of using a framework. So now only thing to do is choose a framework. And let me fill you in on a secret. Many frameworks can establish the same outcomes and usually one is not exceptionally better than the other. Yeah, that's right. And don't get me wrong, of course, frameworks have differences, but in general, all major frameworks accomplish same basic tasks and have the basic features in them. So what is the correct framework to choose then? Well, if you don't have a strong reason to evaluate uh, different choices or there isn't specific features that you need that only some other framework can provide, my advice is to go with the one you know best. And my reasoning here is that you will most likely be most productive with the tools and frameworks that you already know than with the new framework which might have a learning curve. And if you're building a production application that you know will have tons of features and that the choice will affect a lot of people, then you should of course evaluate the choice with other developers who will be working with the project. For example, you are tasked to build a budgeting application. So that definitely gets a yes to all the checklist questions. Then let's say you will narrow down your options to Next.js and Remix. Which one is better for this application? Well, the answer is both will be good fit for the job. So go with the one you already are more familiar with or that your team is using in other projects already. I truly hope you found this video at least somewhat helpful. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already.